What's going on guys? Um, sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been kind of busy. A lot of things going on behind the scenes. Anyway, so I figured I'd just give an update about what's going on and uh, a little update on the house. Um, winter kind of, it got cold quick and we were falling a little behind. So we kind of just went into full on work mode. Uh, but I figured I'd give an update. I guess let's, uh, let's start outside. So we got pretty much all the siding done. I think it came out really nice, especially with the white trim. Blue is really nice color on this. Dormer and all that. Uh, we still have to finish up the ceiling on the porch. Uh, we just got our posts using a uh, four inch uh, box beams. And uh, I, I'm gonna have another video on that. Uh, that one I, I have been recording somewhat through the process, but we got plates and sauna tubes and everything all in. Um, we did finally get our garage door. We were waiting a couple months on that actually. Can't really see it right now. I don't wanna take it down. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a nice brown. It almost matches the front door. Um, we haven't done too much in the garage. Uh, we do still need to finish that spot with our siding. We ran out of siding and it got too cold. Everything was breaking, so we had to order more. Um, you know, this side's all done. We got heat in the house, finally. Um, oh, our window, yeah. Um, so we are putting trim on one of the windows and one of the nails kind of blew through the trim and hit the window so that's now a single pane window we'll use it for something else so you know not too much really going on with the yard it's just been muddy swampy nasty but we got the back of the house all sided we still need to do gutters and get everything else done um but yeah siding was fun definitely never done siding before and i don't plan to do it anymore <laughs> <clears throat> but back here we're gonna have a pretty big deck that comes out and it'll go along the house and then drop down the stairs and there'll be a patio down here and then uh i think it might wrap around too it might not i can't remember what he was saying um but there'll definitely be like a nice patio down here and then we got this side all done. Our machine. We actually uh, ended up getting it stuck down the hill here. Um, trying to shovel out some snow with this thing. And uh, these front tires are pretty, pretty shot. But good old excavator got it out. Uh, I don't know if I ever showed the finished rock wall over here either this came out pretty sweet we're gonna do another one like this on the other side to kind of match i guess we'll uh we'll start downstairs we'll go in here oh it's so nice and warm in here so everything's pretty much just a mess we've been just working 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 um yeah, got our electric in, got our rough-in inspection done, uh, insulation, they sprayed all of our bays down here, all the way around, which is nice, really helped out. It's, honestly, we have just the heat down here in the floor, which is in another video if you want to see how that's done. Um, and it's, it's honestly been heating the entire house so far, and this is... Uh, almost 3,900 square foot. But we got our heat in. There's our lines running into the floor for down here. Um, I'd tell you all about it, but I don't really know a whole lot. <laughs> um, but I do know it is very efficient and it's very, very warm down here. So um, yeah, so here's the basement. You know, all of our rough-in plumbing is done. Um, 
all of our electric is like I said done um, got all the stairs in got all of our interior framing done so this is gonna be the kitchen area in here shovel got my way um, uh, this will be the dining room and then we're gonna have a big I think he's doing a see-through fireplace in here um, so that'll be right in the middle between the living room and the uh, dining room but yeah we got all the insulation in the ceiling is sprayed three inches uh, with closed cell uh, with you know provides a vapor barrier and has the um, provides a lot more structure too and then we will put R30 over top of that so this house is absolutely sealed and you know, it does get pretty cold up here not like arctic cold but really cold and then we have six uh recessed lights up there we we are going to change the bulbs because it's not really efficient for how big this room is um there's going to be sconces up on the walls to help with the uh lack of light i mean we have these huge windows everywhere so there'll be plenty of natural light in here which would be nice but yeah insulation done um this is going to be like the little foyer area with a nice closet doors in i don't know if that was in any of the videos it's a pretty nice door though looks like wood but it's a really fiberglass and then we'll have the hallway uh, these these are all of our sleepers because we're putting in the uh, heated floors. This will be the guest bathroom. It's a nice little bathroom. One of the bedrooms. So this is what we've been working on right now. Is you'll lay the pecs in. It's actually... Where's the roll? It's actually an aluminum inside. So it bends and it stays with the way you bend it. Um, also it uh you know it's not just your normal packs uh it, i forget what it was called exactly but this is what you want to use for your heated floors and then i'll go right into these channels i'll slide right in here and i think it was saying something crazy like with these it uh it's like 60 percent more efficient but this is going to be the bathroom for this room have a little shower in the corner toilet sink and probably nothing just a little hanging area or something uh, let's see what else we got going on this bedroom's all framed up everything like i said all the framing's done down here uh insulation's all done all electric is in got this room a closet in here and then the master bathroom which we got the tub right there so that's gonna be going in soon too so this will be the main bathroom the tubs gonna go in here uh, vanity and sink there and then uh, the pupa back here let's get its own room which is kind of nice. I always like that idea is uh, having a toilet kind of separated from the rest of the bathroom. Um, but then, yeah, this door goes down into the garage. Garage. And we'll go back down the hall. This in here would be like a little linen closet with brooms and whatever random crap you got. And then upstairs. So this house is definitely gonna be a bit stronger than most with all these four by four posts in here. Just one in that wall. Um, with these longer, uh, taller gable walls, you know, you get a lot of wind up here and there's a lot of deflection. Like you can see the wall shaking and uh, we wanted to prevent that as much as possible. So we 
put those four by fours in there that one we recessed in <sighs> kind of an afterthought um it is it was really a pain in the butt doing that one so we ended up just putting this one on the outside of it down there and then this one we put up in the middle that kind of holds everything up there i mean honestly with how well this was built we could knock all those out and there wouldn't be any difference they're just more of a why not because we can and it's 10 times stronger than it would be without them um but yeah we got two more here you know those are all the way down into the basement so they are actually doing something and then up here we're gonna have a kind of just lofty hangout area i think we it was like six foot eleven or something from here to the edge so there'll be a nice hangout spot up here have a little couch table and uh yeah but we were also thinking we should have probably definitely put some windows up there so you could see the mountain from up here that would have been really cool oh well next time and then uh for now this will be an addict until we uh you know just to get the co to help save on taxes and all that and then this room will probably be finished definitely uh liking the way this thing came out though this is my first full build um i've done a lot of remodel stuff a lot of things around here are old and and just everybody's fixing up old stuff not not too much new building going on not as much as i guess past two years everyone's been uh doing a lot of new builds and and really expanding the area you know, a lot of city money coming up which is a good thing and a bad thing you know it, it's nice to see everything growing around here new stuff coming in money coming in jobs being made but at the same time when you live in the woods like this and everybody rides four wheelers and dirt bikes and all that a lot of city it's come up yeah i said it's city it's um they start blocking off all the land all the trails oh i don't like the four wheelers i don't like the noise and end up you know taking all of our safe riding places uh down and you know all of our connecting trails so you have to go on the road instead but for the most part we always find a way around through the woods because that's what we do around here so that's the update on the house we have we are going to be using tongue and groove for the ceiling sheetrock for the walls um this room will get all the same floor packs and all that here i'll go stand in the corner and actually So yeah, that's the, the house. Definitely coming out really nice. Excited to see this thing finished. As much as I want it to be done so I can go sit in a truck and drive and make a ton of money. I, you know, I'll have plenty of other projects still going on. Um, you now one of the projects, next projects that I'm gonna be working on is my sister's bathroom, their guest bathroom. Um, the toilet started leaking uh, It's just it, it's the nasty nasty like 70s Brown the really gross brown too. It's not even pleasant. So we're gonna rip all no wait That bathroom was pink pink. That's what it was. It's like the nasty pink purpley Barney Yeah, so we're gonna rip that bathroom apart and uh, change it around a little bit and then uh we know she wants all of her re bathroom, all three bathrooms redone. It's gonna be New Year's, it's New Year's Eve right now. So I'd like to say uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, and Happy Merry whatever anybody else celebrates. Um, hope everybody's having good holidays, seeing family, friends, something, anything. <laughs> and I hope you're enjoying it. Um, but I've been working, I've worked. I ended up working on Christmas. My daughter 
went and seen a bunch of other family so i had nothing to do i was like hey, i'm going to work why not make some money but we did have a good uh christmas eve dinner and all that and presents so it was a good time um but yeah uh for my new year's i plan on making a lot more videos being a lot more on point with making videos editing videos uh making sure i don't forget my camera making sure batteries are charged i did buy a couple more batteries that was one of my big problems i, I had one battery and it was always dying um so hopefully uh i can give you guys a bit more content anyways so we're uh i'll get back to work and uh i hope you know if you guys like these videos and want to see more you know just keep clicking the like button for me really helps out um you know youtube's got an algorithm and the more likes i get the more my video gets seen and it'll be easier for me to make more content but we should have a a bit more stuff going on soon so i also want to say uh you know thanks for the support guys you know i've gotten a lot of really nice comments and good ones and uh you know I, I do appreciate it anything you guys want to see feel free to comment um if you want more detail on something just let me know i have no problem doing that